and welcome to the quick tips section for the how to build an online teaching career course. I want to give you some practical knowledge uh, and just tips that I use to improve my classes and to eventually sell more classes because the quality of my courses are improving, students recognize this, they re review my courses uh, well and then that gives me more students. So Audacity is a free program. I'll just show it to you right now. Um, if you go to just search for Audacity in Google, it's a free audio editor. So it's really awesome. Um, I, I, it is available for Windows as well as Mac. So go ahead and to audacity.sourceforge.net to download it. It's amazing at getting rid of background noise. So a common issue for online instructors is having noise in the background, trying to get rid of that, and this is a great way to get rid of it. So I have outsourced or partnered with a few instructors to teach classes on topics that I can't teach myself. So Maya is an animation program where you can animate 3D videos. And my trainer, Abhishek, sent me some great classes, but the audio isn't amazing. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. Let me just play you a clip. And I'm gonna play a little loud, so um, watch your ears, just so that you can hear the background noise. Hi guys, welcome to chapter one, introduction to visual effects. And I am your trainer, Abhishek. So you can hear this fan going on in the background, and that's a common sound. You know, you just have this whirl, whirling sound in the background from fan, from the street, whatever. Well, let me just show you quickly how to get rid of that in Audacity. So I just take this file, drop it onto Audacity. All right, so here is a great spot. You, you're going to need to find a spot where it's just the background noise, where you're not talking. You can zoom in by clicking this magnifying glass and zooming in. So this and then use this little play selection tool to click and drag an area of your composition. Actually, this part is actually completely silent because the trainer was showing us a video that he added later. But it's you don't really need that much time. So let me select this area. See, you can see the waveforms where he's talking. Uh, let me show you a shot. Just have a look at this shot and then I will tell you so see right here where there's no waveforms? I'm just going to select that and you play it. When you press spacebar, it plays it as a loop. So it just plays that section. And that's a great section. You need to sample this section without any talking. Basically, you're telling the program to take this section this of sound and reduce that entire sound across the entire video. So how do you do that? You go up to Effect go to noise removal and you get noise profile. So make sure that your selection using the selection tool is just of that section. If you you include the voice section, it's going to end up being really weird and it's going to distort the audio, not like you want it. So effect noise removal, click get noise profile. All right, so now it's it, the audacity of the program knows what background noise you want to take. Then you want to select the entire clip, so just go over here and click the over where the name is, and it selects the entire clip. You can scr scrub through just to make sure that it has the entire clip. So now you go up to Effect Noise Removal again, but now you do Step 2 and just select OK. These, these numbers, the noise reduction is 20 decibels, and the smoothing, you might have to play around with these to make sure that it's not taking too much noise out and distorting your voice, but for me this seems to be the right numbers. And then you just select OK. It's going to do it relatively fast. You can see that it's removing the noise quickly. And you'll notice on the waveform that the noise just got removed. So now when I play, play this, and we confuse it with other things. So let me give you a, a very simple... Isn't that amazing? Now there is practically no background noise for the spots where he's not talking. On the set, 
or it is impossible to shoot certain situations. What do you do? The quality is 10 times better than before. Um, this will really improve you know, people's viewing experience and uh, it's just a quick fix to bad audio. So even if you have a bad microphone or a noisy environment, it's not impossible to deal with that and to make a great course from it. So using Audacity, the noise removal effect, uh, it's a great option. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next quick tip. Bye.